now on a proposed bill that would change a law in Wisconsin allowing kids aged 14 to 17 to serve alcohol in restaurants to seated customers. The current age requirement in the state right now is 18. The supporters of this bill say it is aimed at addressing a labor shortage in the is industry. Rather, Emily Riley looking into this today. So you spoke with a local restaurant owner. This is supposed to help them out, at least in theory. What did they say about this proposal? I spoke with Copper State uh, Brewing Company earlier this afternoon, and the owner there was uh, saying she doesn't necessarily think this would help them specifically, just because uh, with their restaurant, they've had uh, not so much front of the house uh, staffing shortages. So they have servers, they have bartenders. They're not really worried about that, but they've had more issues with back of the house. So people washing dishes, uh, workers as line cooks, that's where the issue is. So just for them specifically, it wouldn't um, address that issue. And she also said she had a concern just uh, generally about you know, they brew their own beer. So if a 14 year old uh, were to be there to to serve it, you know, would they have that knowledge? Would they have that intelligence to be able to speak to a customer about it? All right. That, that's one potential issue there. So do they would she concerned about safety concerns, liability concerns if you lower the I mean, this is a big jump from 18 to potentially 14. Right. It is a big jump. And she did uh, say that uh, she was saying, you know, um, people that she's hired, um, she would be concerned if there was um, a 14 year old that if they were to be the ones checking IDs or um, serving this alcohol, there's a, a few pitfalls where uh, liability could become an issue. So I was actually speaking with uh, someone from Mothers Against uh, Drunk Driving and they highlighted an issue where you know, if there's a 14 year old serving somebody at a bar and that person uh, goes out and starts driving, you know, who would be liable? There's still a lot of questions surrounding that, uh, that the bill didn't quite address and concerns that uh, restaurant owners have for those that are working there. All right. As we mentioned, the current legal age is 18. If it drops down, have any other states uh, done anything similar to this? Have you looked around at that? Yes. Yeah, so uh, nationally, um, we look at two states that have um, age requirements that are lower than 18 and that's West Virginia. They can have 16 year olds serving alcohol and then there's Maine. They allow 17 year olds. So if this were to pass, Wisconsin would have the uh, lowest age restriction um, for workers able to serve al alcohol in the entire country. So we just kind of have to wait and see what happens and see if it passes. All right, we'll watch this bill as it moves through. Emily, thanks so much. Still to come here at 430, your first alert headlines of the day are next. Plus, you need to see why it's a good idea to have locks on garbage dumpsters. You'd hope a school principal would know that. He does now. Closed captioning on Action 2 News is sponsored by Steinhoffels, where you can shop our wide selection of patio furniture. Action 2 News is sponsored by Diamond H2O. Get a professional grade water softener for only $7.55. Call now. Get $3,000 off your project with the 50-year anniversary celebration at Packerland Home Improvement. Plus, no interest and no payments for 12 months. For 50 years, we know it matters. It's your home. This month at Packerland Home Improvement. My husband and I bicycle in various destinations in the Midwest. And we have the peace of mind knowing that if we needed health care outside of where we live, we, of course, don't want to have an accident or need health care on a bicycle trip, but should it come up, that with the portability of WPS insurance, we would be covered. WPS Medicare Supplement Insurance. Call 1-833-JOIN-WPS today. Ice & Bloom has been serving Northeast Wisconsin for over 75 years. We have over 20 in-stock compact utility tractors ready to go with financing as low as 0% and our S220 lawn tractor as low as $29.99. We sell it all. Ice implement, down to earth. There's an invisible threat in your backyard that could cause deadly heartworm disease for your dog. But not if you protect him every month with HeartGuard Plus, the number one choice of dogs. Digestive and neurological side effects have been reported. Ask your vet for HeartGuard Plus. Oh my gosh, Chris Bryant, Freddie Freeman, hustling in for the new DQ Summer Blizzard menu? Oh, five iconic flavors here for a limited time. Like new peanut butter puppy chow. Wow. And s'mores is back. Wow. 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 Wow is right. Hey, guys. Wow. The new DQ Summer Blizzard menu. 
hustle in before it's gone. DQ, happy tastes good. When you're injured in an auto accident, Sigmund Jansen makes it easy to get the legal help you deserve. You don't even need to come to our office. We'll come to you. Or with today's technology, you can sign up your case directly from your computer or smartphone. End the harassment coming from the insurance company. We will make it easy for you. Just call us or visit SigmundLegal.com and put our team to work for you. Sigmund Jansen, your first call. Get $3,000 off your project with the 50-year anniversary celebration at Packerland Home Improvement. Plus, no interest and no payments for 12 months. For 50 years, we know it matters. It's your home. This month at Packerland Home Improvement. Welcome back. Let's take a look now at what's coming up at the top of the hour on Action 2 News at 5. Bill Jarts joins us in the newsroom with a preview. Hi, Bill. Good afternoon, Chris. Over the last week, we told you about a death investigation after human remains were found along Little Lake Butamore in Fax Crossing. In an update yesterday, the Winnebago County Sheriff's Department said due to the state of the remains found, they aren't able to use normal identification processes like fingerprints or DNA. Tonight on Action 2 News at 5, hear from experts at UW Oshkosh who are being used to help identify those remains. Chris. All right, Bill, thanks. We'll see you in just a bit. Let's turn now to your first alert headlines of the day. Wisconsin's Joint Finance Committee voting today to accept the state's share of a multi-state opioid settlement. The lawsuit from multiple state and local governments reached a $19 billion settlement with opioid manufacturers, Teva and Allergen, as well as with pharmaceutical chains, Walmart, Walgreens and CVS. Wisconsin will receive about $324 million, with 30% going to the state, 70% going to county governments as part of the settlements. The companies will also make major changes changes to how opioids are sold and dispensed here in Wisconsin. More than 11,000 members of the Writers Guild of America are now on strike after failing to reach a new contract with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Writers have been trying to reach a new contracts, seeking higher minimum pay, better staffed writing rooms, and reworking residual pay, all of which they say has diminished as streaming services become more of the norm in Hollywood. The strike means production of many television shows could come to a halt immediately, some already have, while the start of the new season seasons of other shows may be delayed until later in the year.